Members of the Senate team investigating the Patel Dam tragedy will today visit the dam on a fact-finding mission. The visit comes amid claims that powerful people were trying to interfere with the probe. The dam burst on May 9th and killed 47 people in Solai, Nakuru County. Elfas Lagat has been in this story from the day it broke. Elfas, good morning. Lots of information coming out on the compensation that the residents received. And we also understand that there were some demonstrations there yesterday. What can you tell us? Well, good morning to you, Ashley, and thank you. Well, uh, yesterday we received uh, information that there was a plan, uh, th there was rather demonstrations that were to happen yesterday, but we can confirm to you that demo the demonstration did not spill out to Solai uh, Center. Well, and I would like to point out that uh, following the directive by the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions, Nadin Haji, on Wednesday, six arrests have been made so far in connection to the uh, tragedy uh, of uh, the fateful dam of uh, Patel that broke its uh, walls on the 9th of May, causing the loss of lives of 47 people and hundreds of people displaced. And among the list of the people who were um, arrested yesterday include uh, Peri Mansuk, Peri Kasankra Mansuk, who is the managing director for Kensalt Limited, as well as Patel Coffee Estates, and his general manager, Vinoy Jaya Kumar, as well as Johnson Kamau, who is the director of water in the uh, county of Nakuru. So uh, the two, first and second, Peri Mansuk and Vinoy, uh, arrived in Nakuru at 6 a.m. and presented themselves to the DCI officers here in Nakuru. Johnson Kamau uh, presented himself alongside his lawyer at 10 a.m. at the DCI offices, and they were transported to Naivasha Law Courts, where they were to appear before uh, Joseph Karanja. Now, the others who are yesterday are uh, Tom, Tomkin Odo Odiambo in Eldoret, who is the sub-regional uh, manager uh, water resource management warmer, as well as Jacinta Were, the assistant technical uh, coordinator manager, who was also arrested in Nairobi by DCI officers. The sixth is Winnie Modoni Muticia, who is the water rights uh, warmer, who was arrested in Baringa and presented to Nakuru. Well, um, warrants of arrest were uh, uh, issued to the other three. You would remember that nine people were mentioned in the list provided by the DPP, Nudin Haji. So the Julius Kavita, who is the deputy county commissioner, Rungai, is one of the people whose warrants of arrest have been issued, as well as Lynette Chepchishirchiriot, who is, uh, uh, works with NEMA, as well as Willie Omondi, um, NEMA director here in Nakuru as well. So these are the three individuals who are mentioned in the list of the DPP Haji, and their warrants of arrest were issued. Well, uh, actually, I also want to point out what transpired. For, uh, you'll remember that it's a culmination of events uh, since uh, Patel Dam cave and you know, letting millions of liters of water, causing massive destruction. So to this point, uh, those who were accused uh, the, the, the appeared before principal magistrate in Naivasha locals yesterday, and for more than three hours, uh, charge sheet, the charge sheet for, for the three were read out to them, and um, uh, mostly what stood out that contrary to section uh, 202 as read in 2000, uh, 205 of the penal code, uh, the, the accused are said to have uh, jointly um, caused a manslaughter of uh, 47 people, uh, in 48 people uh, rather, in the Solai tragedy. And the 49 and the 58 count are those of um, failure to present an uh, uh, impact assessment report over the uh, state of how uh, the Solai dams are, as well as negligence of duty. Now, uh, what also transpired yesterday at the courts in Naivasha uh, locals is that there was a fierce argument between the defense led by uh, city lawyer Evans Monari as well as the prosecutor, uh, prosecution team led by Catherine Moniki. Now, uh, the grounds that were presented by the prosecutor, Catherine Moniki, that the three gentlemen, uh, Peri, Peri Mansuk, as well as, as, well as Vinoy Jakumar and Johnson Kamau, were that um, there were possible interference with the prosecution witness and as well as the accused number one and number two, that is Peri Mansuk, and uh, Vinoy Jakuma were flight risk. Uh, so uh, that is the second ground that was presented by the prosecution team, as well as uh, public interest 
being the third ground in which the prosecution team was seeking to bar a bond from being uh, given out to uh, the, the accused three who appeared before uh, Principal Magistrate Joseph Karanja yesterday. So to this point, Ashley, uh, this morning we are expecting that the ADO committee chaired by Mutula, uh, uh, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. would be arriving at Solai today amid uh, reports that they've been, uh, they've been trying to undermine that they've been trying to undermine the, the efforts that are being made by the Senate in this ongoing probe of this case. So obviously, uh, uh, we, we are following up on this story. And when we have more updates, we'll be able to be uh, keeping you updated. Uh, back to you, Ashley. Many thanks, Alpha Slagat. Alpha Slagat joins us from Nakuru, giving us an update on the Salai tragedy. And I want us to stick to that story. Our senior parliamentary affairs reporter, Patrick Amimo, spoke to Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo, who chairs the committee that is on a fact-finding mission on what happened in Salai. Mutula promised to get to the bottom of the probe. Let's listen in to the interview. Demonstration against the direction of, uh, of the DPP. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Nobody's going to stop uh, the, the arm of, long arm of the law dealing with the perpetrators of what happened in Solai Dam. The recommendations have already been done. The Senate committee is, will be on site. The uh, cabinet secretary, uh, his team in the water ministry will be in Solai tomorrow so that we can ourselves listen to the people. There are stories about people who have been given 100,000 shillings, others a million shillings. Those are the things we are finding out. We are doing a fact-finding mission. Uh, so that uh, anybody who thinks they can stop the truth uh, should wait because we are going to tell the country what had happened in Solai. Uh, I'm glad that um, as we speak, the information that Solai Dam was not licensed and was a, was a weir. The application that was made by the owners of Solai Dam was a weir and they ended up blocking a river and having 190 million liters which killed 47 people is a matter in the public domain. No amount of demonstration, no amount of protest, no amount of intimidation, no amount of bribes will stop the facts and the truth. Whether it's this committee or any other person, that is going to come out. Indeed, they, as, you, as you do investigate this particular matter, it's, it's like uh, there are also uh, si uh, the, the divisions in, even at the county level itself, even involving politicians and some of those, uh, some of those individuals, even maybe uh, those uh, uh, of, of officials, maybe in charge of, uh, uh, say, NEMA or WARMA, with regard to this particular matter, and already there are maybe calls being made left, right and centre. Could it be that there are some powerful individuals who are maybe behind it and they, they want to kill this story despite the fact that 49 deaths were reported and massive dislocation of people and, and destruction of property? Now, it's, it's surprising and amazing because the, the people who are responsible for licensing, inspecting the dam came to the Senate without the reports and the inspection of that dam, number one. Number two, uh, unknown to them. They even came with applications that appear to have been replicated since 2004. I am 100% persuaded, I don't need to sit as chair, to be persuaded that Warma were compromised in this case, NCA were compromised in this case. The regional coordinator of, MC, uh, of NCA recorded uh, the issues using his phone, take, took pictures with his phone, and produced a report within one day which suggested this was an accident, but at the same time confessed in his report that somebody in Solai attempted to, to what is called uh, ukarabati off the dam uh, in a, in an att to uh, try and stop it from, from uh, breaking. So that person should have been named, and they knew that that person was attempting to do that. But in their report, they say, in any event, it was an accident. The reports given by the cabinet secretary himself demonstrate this was not an accident. This was something that was connived, agreed, somebody turned a blind eye to an illegality, but that illegality led to the death of 47. Now, the report by Red Cross tells us that while we are talking about the 47 who are dead, there are over 200 children who have been affected. Nobody's talking about our children. Those children have been traumatized, some so they are on uh, peers being carried away in the water. So we want to say, please, can we talk about the human beings, not the owners. They are not gods, the institutions. None of them, including the ministry, through Warma and all those, has come to the Senate with a concrete report.
that can only be a cover-up. And that's the reason why they were attempting to make phone calls, attempting to stop people. The county government officials and national government officials were there when these payments were being done by the Patel farm. These ones that are reported in the press today. Why would they participate in uh, what appears to have been a cover-up of the situation? And the person who is giving this uh, payment is saying, I'm giving you this payment as a token because I'm not admitting liability. We must interrogate these facts so that then we can, we can help this country. This is, this is not about Solai, this is about Kenya. Can you have a dam of this size on y in your property and not take precautions? This is about Kenya, not about the owners of Solai. In fact, and I've seen your committee was very firm. When NEMA and, and NCA appeared before your committee with uh, some, some fecal, fecal answers, you did send them away and told them to come up with subst substantive uh, maybe issues on this, on, this, on this Solai dam. Will you get to the bottom of the matter with regard to this Patel dam? In fact, as a result of us, the correct word is that we threw them out. The, as, a, as a result of uh, our engagement with NCA, they have directly procured a forensic dam expert. I have the letters uh, confirming that they will do an interrogation. Same with NEMA. Uh, they are supposed to go there and do an audit. The fact is that this country is watching. If they don't do the job, the recommendations will follow. And those recommendations are not go be, going to be nice. I'm happy that the DPP has taken action because this has jolted the government officials who think that this is a joke to learn that when in your office and you do not, you commit or omit, you'll be equally liable for negligence.